Hello everyone, this is Mugundan Raghavan. In this video, we are going to see how to use the Faker module to generate the test data very dynamically from the utility itself. In longer scenarios, we might be having the different test data to cover the diversified test inputs. It is not very practical that you will be creating your own test data every time. And it should be looks like a real-time data. At the same time, we should not use any production data. For that reason, we are going to use the utility called Faker from the JavaScript to generate the various types of data by using this module. Let's see how to create the Faker data. If you go to the documentation about the Faker data, so this is the API reference for the Faker data. Here you can see by using the Faker module, you can generate a lot of information inside the finance, randomizer or number related information, or you can generate some kind of person information mainly, and you can generate the animal names, helpers, phone numbers, any kind of data, any kind of colors, any kind of scientific information, sting, images, lot and lot of information we can generate. And if you go to the Git repository for the faker, you can again see the lot of information. Here, the main thing is we need to install the npm install faker js slash faker. Once you have the installation, you might create a lot of data. For example, once you create the instance of the faker by importing from the faker module, then faker.sting UID, faker.internet related information, faker. let's say date, birth date, faker.date, anything from the past date. So you can randomly generate any kind of data. Just to understand this one, let's go to the VS code and try to understand more. Obviously, this is one of our requirements. So objective to generate the test data dynamically to ensure the diverse test scenarios. Now try to understand in a very simple way, go to the faker sample. And here you can see, I just imported the faker from the same module. Then by using the object faker.person, you can get the job title. Let's imagine I want to get the random job title every time. In the similar line, you can generate a lot of information, first name, last name, gender, job area, for the person information. Let's say I want to see something else. So just see here. Let's imagine I want to generate some random color. So here you can see the different random colors. Or let's say I want to generate something on the date so date dot then it can be any time or it can be between some particular date or it can be any birth date it can be any future date so like that we can generate a lot of information for example let me go with simple person dot let's look for the full name and save it and same contact test we will just create one more test remaining test will be skipped again and here i'm just getting the demo output from the faker sample because I'm exporting this one demo output. If I just run only this one, here you can see the output Nicholas Trump. If I run it again, you will see the different output. Here you can see the different output. The same way you can generate a lot of information. Now the catch is we are not going to create each and every time some kind of input and output. So basically we are going to create the utility, faker data utilities. Here we have the utility, it will have the interface. Basically, I know that my application needs some particular kind of object, which will require the name, email, username, phone number, age, address. For your own test case, for your own business scenario, you might create some data model. For example, in your case, you might be having the location, you might be having the job description. Based on your need, you will create one interface or let's say data model. And everything should have some types because we are using the TypeScript. Then after that, this will be generating the function. Basically, I'm generating the function here, generate user data. The function gets no inputs and the output will be the type of user data. Basically, the output should be in this format. And I'm giving the same structure here. You can see name, email, username and everything. But the value would be from the faker. Faker person name and faker internet dot email and so on. And random number also should be between age 18 to 99. So that also you can give us a one of the input. So now we have generated the function as well. You can directly call this function. However, the next step would be, I want to generate the same kind of structure as the object multiple times. So for that, again, you can see this is another function, generate test data. Here I am telling how many times of the same structure should be repeated. The number will be as a input and the value will be the number. Then this will be the array of user data. So already we have seen this is a user data structure. So this will be repeating. So this objects will be repeated inside the list or array. Then 
I'm giving the same value here and this will be repeated. Basically in the faker itself, we have function called helpers. Inside the helpers, you can replicate the same kind of structure multiple times, but you need to give the function which generates the single unit of data, which is generate user data. So this will be the function which will generate one set of data. Then I'm giving the second information as how many times I need to generate. This entire thing will be just added into the array of user data, which will be the same structure. Then I will be returning the test data. Now we have generated the list of items, which will be following the structure of user data interface. Then after that, we will be having the same structure here, which will just go into the test data folder. One time you will be just exporting this entire information as a JSON. Another time you will be importing the same thing to the CSV. In order to use the CSV, you need to have some kind of library, which is CSV to JSON and CSV writer. So these are the two libraries you need to install. Same npm install CSV writer, CSV to JSON. And let's go to the utility again and try to understand everything one more time. Interface, which will give the structure of our data model. And this is the exact function which will generate the same kind of structure with the actual data. And this will generate the, the number of times the structure we have so it will generate the same kind of data in the array. So again, it will be just putting this data into the JSON and the CSV and keep it inside our test data folder. So how to utilize this one? And here you can see, I want to generate the test data 20 times. Okay. And this will be exported to the test data EN JSON and test data EN CSV. Now I can run this. When I run this, it will be generating the output inside our test data folder. Now here you can see. The test data has been created, one exported as a JSON, another one has been exported as a CSV file. Now, if I open the CSV file test data underscore EN JSON, you can see the same structure has been repeated 20 times and each one will have the same structure and the different data and same goes to the CSV file. This will be the CSV file. So it will be generating 20 rows. Each one will have the different test data, random test data, which can be used in our testing. So this is a simple utility. You can use it directly. And this all utility will be available in our Git repository. Anyone can just clone it and start using for that. So let's summarize what we have seen. We have seen Faker module in the JavaScript, which will generate the random data in the different domains. For example, color, random numbers, science, or let's say the person details, music details, or let's say any random line, random number of lines, okay, finance data credit card number, whatnot. So any kind of random fake data can be generated by using the faker module. And we have seen the GitHub repository for the faker and we found that how to install that NPM install. And we have seen the some sample code also here. Then after going to the VS code, we have just created one sample. We have seen how to generate the simple full name. Then after we have understood that we need to have some utility which will generate our data model. So first of all, we generated our data model by using the interface. So that the every data you generate, it will be coming under this format. Then after that, we created the same method, which will actually generate the data and giving the same format. Then we have created one more method, which will give the array of test data in the given format. And you will be giving how many times it has to be repeated as the input. Then we have created two more utilities. One is to generate the data and push it into the JSON file and keep it into the test data folder. Another one, generate the data in CSV format and keep it inside our test data folder. And we have opened those files, CSV files, as well as the JSON file, which looks very perfect for us. And for that, what are the modules we have installed? Faker and CSV writer and CSV to JSON. So these are the modules we have written. So this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.